This week's video is going to be a little bit unusual because I've already taken the photographs that I'm going to show you. Today I've come to Elterwater because I needed a shot for my location guide of the Central Lakes, but when I got here it was raining and so I gave up any hope of vlogging and just focused on the photography. It would appear that it's not just Saturdays that you get crap weather. You can also get crap weather on Tuesdays. You see, landscape photography is hard enough as it is. But if you add in the vlogging aspect, it just makes it even harder. And when it's raining, forget about it. Look at the conditions now, it's absolutely gorgeous. And to think, I nearly packed up all my gear and went home. I wanna get this shot now, but really I need to be shooting at around 50 mil. And I haven't got my 24 to 70, I still haven't collected it. But I was chatting to Gary Norman at the photography show and he was telling me about how he sometimes uses panoramics and then crops down on them. And so that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna turn my 24 to 70 into portrait orientation, take a panoramic and then crop that down to my usual 16 by nine ratio. Typically, just as I said that, it started to rain, but I do still think that there's a shot there. So I'm gonna have a go anyway. It's really raining quite hard now, but I'm here, I might as well have a go. So what I've done, I've leveled my tripod, I've put my camera in portrait orientation, and I'm just gonna shoot frame by frame by frame, overlapping by about a third, and obviously we'll bring all that together in Lightroom afterwards. So obviously I don't know if that shots work. So using the magic of television, I can record two pieces to camera and then pick the most appropriate one later on. That's a great shot. Thanks, Gary. Well, that was a waste of time, Gary, you tit. I think I'm done here, so I'm going to pack up my camera and then I'm going to take you on a little walk. I'm going to show you the shots that I took earlier. So the first shot that I went for are these trees here on the River Raithi. I shot them with the wide angle lens and I shot them in both landscape and portrait orientation. I'm gonna put up the landscape shot now, but if you wanna see the portrait shot, you'll need to head over to Instagram. The next shot that I took is this old favorite, using the path as a leading line up towards the trees in the distance. Again, I use the wide angle lens uh, in both portrait and landscape orientation. Once I got that shot, I came round behind the trees and got a picture of them reflecting in this puddle. I used the wide angle lens, but it wasn't wide enough to fit everything in. So again, I used Gary's tip of popping it into portrait mode and taking a panoramic. So let me know what you think of this shot. Am I a great photographer or is Gary a tit? With that shot in the bag, I then started to head back and I spotted the view between these two trees. And so what I did was I popped the telephoto lens on and I focused on the trees, but they act as like a window through to the gate on the other side. 
Now, Gary Norman had nothing to do with this shot. The final photograph that I took was of this view here. And again, telephoto on, camera in portrait orientation, and I took a number of shots which will get stitched together using Gary's technique. So what do you think of the photographs that I've taken today? Do you like them? And what do you think of Gary's technique? Is he a tit? Or is he, as I suspect, a damn fine photographer? So here we are, back where we started. If you want to learn a little bit more about Gary's technique, I'll leave a link to his video in the description below. And if you haven't made one yet, Gary, get a move on, mate. You tit. <laughs>